Today we are planting mangroves with our volunteers from the Carrier Corporation at the Palm Beach Resilient Island. This island was constructed with a generous donation from the Carrier Corporation as well as the Bachelor Foundation and, some, and the state of Florida. We partnered with Palm Beach County to design and construct the island and we're out here basically putting the finishing touches on that island by adding adding some greenery. Mangroves are, are really the superstars for, for this part of the world. Um, they provide habitat, reduce wave energy, wave action. They also kind of protect the coastline and buffer it from storms. Um, and they also are very good at sequestering carbon from the atmosphere. And we are adding them here because they like to live in salt water. This is an estuary and they need intertidal habitat. And so part of this project not only demonstrates how we can utilize nature-based solutions to protect our community, but also to create critical habitat for wildlife. What we're doing today is planting the mangroves on this uh, intertidal shelf. The mangroves pr provide uh, stabilization for the soil. They also provide uh, fish and wildlife habitat. The whole point is for restoration of the lagoon for fish and wildlife to increase the habitat because the lagoon has been so devastated over the past hundred years with dredging and filling and seawalls that we've pretty much taken out all of our intertidal productive habitat. So we're just putting some of that back in the lagoon. We've got about 20 or so volunteers from the Carrier Corporation. They recently relocated their headquarters to Palm Beach Gardens and they're looking to partner with the Nature Conservancy to really um, be part of this community and impact the community in, in a positive way related to adaptation um, to address the climate change. What's exciting for us is that this is only 10 miles away from our corporate headquarters and so to get our employees out here to kind of realize our vision to be a sustainable company and to actualize that here is very important for Carrier. So the design for this island is really um, kind of a redundant approach or, or a layering of, of, of interventions. We've got an outer ring of, of breakwater uh, rock and then in between those we added some substrate for oysters to recruit and then if you kind of move into where we're standing now we've got an intertidal flat for mangroves um, so fish can kind of come in through these different passageways and forage and, we, and, and the birds really like this intertidal habitat and then ultimately kind of at, at the center of this island we've got this bird nesting habitat which is you know a rock bear shell island that shorebirds really like to nest on. We saw on the boat coming out here uh, what this could look like in five years, what this could look like in 10 years, and the benefits for the environment, uh, but also for the people of uh, West Palm Beach. This project has been underway for about two years. Um, we approached the county in 2020, came up with design, and then worked through permitting and redesign of the island a few times. And then construction started in April, this April, 2022, and basically wrapped in August. So here we are, and uh, it's basically finished.